What's going on gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are taking a look at some Grand Bazaar footage. This is Battlefield 3, uh, and a lot of times what me and the guys will do, we'll just hop in the LAV right from the get-go, and we'll all pile in there, and uh, we've had it where games where we'll have a person in every single seat, and if you can do that, this thing is a beast, and uh, it can really just plow through uh, the enemies very quickly because you've got somebody looking out each port. There's a machine gun uh, and, and a lot of people didn't use this even in Bad Company 2 uh, But seriously on Battlefield 3 especially on this particular map We always do a fairly good amount of damage uh, to the other side just running around in this thing uh, So of course always have somebody in the driver's seat and the gunner seat uh, But what I'm doing right now is just looking out the back so I'm hoping that the the gunner, if we don't have enough people in the other slots, that they can at least watch most of the sides while I keep a watch on the back. And that's going to ensure that nobody's going to be able to sneak up on us, place C4, or lay down landmines, or, or anything like that, or sneak around to get a good shot on us without somebody seeing them and being able to spot them. Uh, of course, as always remember, even if you don't shoot and kill somebody, always be spotting. That's the one complaint that I get. A lot of times in the comment sections, everybody's always complaining that nobody ever spots. So we need to spread the word, preach the gospel, spot, spot, spot. And you'll see that that makes it so much easier on the main gunner. Uh, so because he has splash radius on his weapon, of course he can just fire off in that direction. So unlike you and the side ports, um, you have to be pretty directly on the target in order to kill them. Uh, but not the gunner, so that's why it's always good to spot, let your teammates know so they can help you out. Uh, don't get greedy because that'll end up getting you killed a lot of times. So some news that I wanted to go over in this video, we've uh, just uh, I just read on MP first uh, some comments from the developers. Looks like Conquest is going to change soon. Uh, they're going to reset the servers and what's going to happen is they're going to allow you to actually play on the maps twice in a row. So you'll switch sides just like it used to be in Bad Company 2. This way we get to stay on the maps a little bit longer. So I am thankful for that. A lot of times I want to play, you know, Operation uh, whatever, if not Metro, the Firestorm. Um, and I uh, want to play Caspian Border. Uh, but a lot of times the games just go by so quickly. Uh, so this is actually going to be a good change. Um, it, it wasn't necessarily a bad thing early on uh, due to the, the very start of the game with it being like the way it is right now because at least that way it got us real familiar with all of the maps very quickly. Uh, so I don't know, it had, up, had its ups and downs but looks like they are going back to uh, allowing us to play both sides. So that's a little bit of exciting news. Uh, you may be asking, is this not spawn camping? And, you know, yes and no. I have a problem when somebody's standing right where somebody is going to spawn. I hate when the spawn system is set. I would rather it be very random in an area. That way you can't have a set spawn point. Uh, but with Battlefield 3, I feel like the maps are pretty well even. And everybody has a pretty, I think, fair chance of being able to get out of a tight situation by using smoke or by being able to sneak through without, you know, firing at anybody and just going ninja style, you know, running to the back. I, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of maps where I complain about people getting pinned in. So in that aspect, I have no problem with this right here. This is strategic, this is tactical. Uh, we, we worked on all the other side of the maps and eventually then we came back around and we were able to push them back into their spawn. And I see no problem with that. And we're not looking at one direct spawn. Uh, we're just kind of browsing back and forth. So I think we give them a fair opportunity in order to work themselves out. And that's why I like Battlefield over Call of Duty because Call of Duty, you can't play tactical. You can't sweep out an area and then expand the area because people can spawn anywhere. They can spawn behind you, whatever. That's why I like Battlefield is because you're able to push in, push those people back, and I think that's why it gives it a competitive edge is because you have to push those people out. And I don't look at this right here as cheating at all or a problem whatsoever, but if you do, let me know. I want to hear about it. Uh, put it in the comments section. Let me know what you think about spawn killing. Was what we were doing right there with the LAV spawn killing 
or not. Check that out. 16-0, 8-0, and 6-0. That's us in the LAV. Thanks for watching.